Hi everybody, this is Dee, and it is Saturday, so I, I, I just want to wish you all a, a very happy Shabbat and say Shabbat Shalom. Just a very peaceful Saturday to everybody. And um, I just wanted to ask you, you know, ask you guys out there. I know you're watching and you're being, you know, very watchful, praying all the time. And there's so many things and people and events to be praying about especially our loved ones and our friends that haven't made it to Jesus yet. They haven't made it to Christ and his ways. So I always um, urge everybody to please pray. Please pray um, for God's mercies. Um, I know I have a lot of friends that um, believed that Jesus walked the face of the earth and have seen movies on him and what, whatever, but they just continue to do things their own ways in their own um, being their own gods and not accepting Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and to learn his way so it's very sad i know that there must be a lot of you out there because i've been praying for a lot of you out there that have been attacked spiritually or um your children aren't saved or you're you know you want you want to make sure your your husband goes with you in the rapture and everything i've gotten um just a, a wide array of different um believers out there contacting me and it's great and everything well we'll see what the lord does the lord can only work with them um, someone's heart who's receptive um, so that's the big thing. How is your heart reacting? And, and, and the Lord always judges by the heart. It's the heart content. You know, if the heart's always saying me, 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 whatever I want, whatever I want, and only thinking of yourself and that kind of thing, the Lord can't move. The Lord can't do too much. So I just wanted to pass that little uh, nugget on to you. Uh, just food for thought. I know I have lots of friends and people that I've worked with in, um, in different situations and um, I pray for them but the Lord can only do so much they have to have somebody in their path that changes it for them or they themselves have to say this is not right you know I've got to do I got I've got to change so today I want to talk to you about why we're gonna see what we're gonna see which is um, it's gonna come soon the Lord just put it up into me that I would probably you know experience this with everybody else uh, this goes hand in hand with that vision that I had prophetic um, dream that I, I had a while back um, about the flying saucers coming first so we will all see flying saucers so please don't listen to those who say Jesus Christ is going to come for his church at any moment I can't stress that enough he's not I asked him in, in prayer um, I think it was last August or last September I said Lord please show me uh, what's going to happen first? What has to come to pass first? And I've already shared it on my um, YouTube channel before, so please bear with me. But I know I have um, new, you know, subscribers, and they don't know. So what's going to happen before the rapture, the cap the catching away, is this is for the bride. Now this is only for the bride. There are a lot of people out there that think the whole church is going to go up. So you guys haven't studied Matthew twenty five one through thirteen yet to know that there were five of the. Um, virgins that were ready they had lots of oil in their lamp and the and the lord came for them and then he had to close the door on the other five that they were saved and everything but they didn't have the extra filling of the holy spirit why because they weren't praying for it so you have to be praying when you're in prayer say lord fill me to the overflowing with your holy spirit that's how you get to be part of the bride you know you have to be torah observant that's his ways um, the seven feast days of the Lord, know them, and uh, definitely not, you know, don't um, celebrate Easter when everybody else does, really, you know, you want to do it on the right day, which is when he was our Passover lamb, which was Passover, so I'm not going to get into that again, that's not what this video is for, so this video is that we're going to be seeing it with our very own eyes, and I'm going to read from Revelation, so if you have your uh, translations of your Bibles, I have the Hallelujah Scriptures, this is my old trusty um, Bible that I have that I've been able to learn lots of Hebrew words, so Revelation chapter 12, and then when it starts in uh, verse 7, it says, there came to be fighting in the heavens, there came to be fighting in the heavens, and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his messengers fought. And verse 8 says, But they were not strong enough, nor was a place found for them in the heavens any longer. So that has not happened yet. So they are floating around. They're in different places. So they're up in the clouds in stealth mode. 
uh, invisible to us, but sometimes, you know, more, more times than not, and lately, as of this year, and maybe even parts of last year, they were showing themselves to us. They were making themselves known. We just had to look up and see the outline of a, of a cloud, that kind of thing. Um, not a lot of that is happening here where I am in Massachusetts, but I know that there are a lot of other um, states, say, for example, in America that have witnessed it, um, that kind of thing. But we are going to see them. Uh, when they get kicked out from heaven, they're going to come down here. And um, I'm going to continue reading from verse 9. The great dragon was thrown out, that serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who leads all the world astray. He was thrown to the earth, and his angels were thrown out with him. Um, and then 10 is, I heard a loud voice saying in the heavens, now have come the deliverance, the power, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Mashiach, his, his, his Christ, um, his anointed one, for the accuser of our brothers who accused them before our God day and night has been throw da thrown down. 11. And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their witness, and they did not love their lives to the death. So basically, if you get into that and you ask the Holy Spirit to help you with that, he will lead you to what's happening. And he's, he's led me, you know, years ago to this. And so I've kept it in the back of my mind. And then I got confirmation from the Lord last year when he showed me that prophetic dream. He showed me that I will see, we, everyone will see, the UFOs will be clearly visible right outside. They'll be just hovering right outside. It's because... Um, I believe it's because of the magnetosphere the, that has the shield has, has been, you know, so thin um, over time. And it's gotten very, very thin so that when the comet comes, which we're expecting very soon, so it's going to be happening on Monday. So I'm going to be staying right inside and I'm going to watch anything I watch is going to be on the news. I am not going to buy any special classes or anything like that. But, um, and I don't even think... Of some of those glasses are even bona fide. I don't even think that they are that they are really legitimate. I don't. I think that a lot of people want to just make a, a couple extra bucks passing them off as the real deal. But anyway, anyway, um, I will not be partaking in that. I'll be inside the house. But I'm over here in Massachusetts, and I'm going to be seeing it one of the last, you know, one of the last ones on the East Coast. Probably seeing it around quarter of four. Something like that, so if we get like two minutes of darkness, maybe even. But we're supposed to have sunny skies. We're supposed to have clear skies. So um, the, as, as far as I know in my spirit, it goes hand in hand. The three days of darkness is going to happen hand in hand with the comet and the eclipse. It's just going to be like one, two, three. So that's why, you know, all the messengers out there have been saying, you guys get ready for it. And still a lot in the church is sleeping. They just don't go in about their business, doing this, doing that. Maybe a lot of them don't even, I don't even think they subscribe or watch YouTube. You know, maybe they might be older folks or something that just never got into YouTube. And how are they going to get notified? You know, think about it. How are they going to get notified? Um, but anyways, um, I've been trying on my channel for the past three and a half years, almost four years warning people and saying this is going to happen we're going to see the colors in the sky the rainbow and that's our warning that's our cue to get in the house make sure every window locks front doors locked make sure you get everybody in your house no matter what get them in the house because it's only hours i think only hours from when we see the actual pinks in the sky the yellows the greens the purples He's only giving us, I think, you know, maybe hours to get everybody in. And then from that color, it'll go to a deep reddish orange. And then you know that it's good, the sky is going to turn. And that's going to be like at 12 noon. So I don't know where it's going to be at your end of the spectrum. But right here where I am, I know that it's going to be around um, noontime. Um, that the three days and three nights of darkness is going to take place. So that's what we're going to witness. We're going to see Revelation chapter... Um, Revelation chapter 12, verses 7 through 9, when Satan gets thrown out of heaven, he will not be able to go back up, um, and he comes down to us. So woe to the inhabitants of the earth. It's like we go up, they come down. There's going to be a huge pole shift, huge earthquake, and all that happens at the sixth seal. So if you've been studying and you know the bride of Christ, who's on fire for the Lord, um, 
is not going to be appointed to God's wrath. So still a lot of people don't understand and think it's the whole body of Christ. It's not. So you have to be refined through the refiner's fire. And I refuse to get into any arguments on my channel. So I know that a lot of, a lot come on and say this and say that. But if it doesn't jive with what I'm saying from my heart and what the Lord has shown me, I'm just going to either ignore the comment or if you're going to get nasty, I have to delete it. That's what I do. So I'm not going to put up with any, any nonsense. This is what's on my heart for the past 16 years that I've been studying in the Bible. You know, it's like day after day, night after night, doing the same thing, studying, studying, highlighting, praying about it, asking for understanding, revelation, all these things happen. And then lo and behold, you know, you know it. Okay, so um, that's what's going to happen. We're going to see the UFOs. They're now called UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. And then at that, at that point, we're going to have the, you know, the missile rockets are going to be launched into the air. And I don't know where they're coming from, but the, there's going to be rockets that go, up, that go up into the air. Someone was saying there's going to be rockets from NASA going up to this comet. So I don't know if that's the same rocket that the Lord showed me, but I'm praying about it. And then um, I just have it heavy on my heart. So when I have something heavy on my heart, I know to get it out there. So if you have any questions, please let me know. But review Revelation chapter 12 for yourself and see what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. Okay, great. Have a have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you. Amen.